going live live Saturday. We're here. Hey, how you guys doing? It's Bruce here, traveling with Bruce. How's it going today? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Saturday broadcast, May 26, 2018. Nice to have you here, folks. How you been? How's it going? I know my Floridians, uh, <coughs> you're going to get it. Uh, you got getting rain. Um, you're not getting a hurricane. Thank God for that. But it's going to be... Uh, Gonna be yucky, isn't it? Uh, lots of rain, showering, flooding, perhaps uh, sinkhole issues. I don't know, uh, but not a hurricane right now. Uh, Tropical storm Alberto. Uh, theoretically, the center of the storm is just off the Yucatan Peninsula near Cozumel, eighty odd miles away, heading north-ish, a tad east maybe, um, causing lots of rain right now in Cuba already in parts of Florida. Um, and that will build all weekend long. And I'm sorry to say that uh, it's too bad because Memorial Day, this is the last thing we need on the long weekend. A uh, couple of cruise ships affected. I'll get to that. Uh, we don't know what other cruise ships may or may not be affected by this system um, coming in out of Tampa, perhaps. Uh, we'll have to see how this kind of plays out the next 24, 48 hours. Uh, we'll kind of go from there. But um, welcome to the show. Welcome to my channel, Traveling with Bruce. <clears throat> if you've never been here before, uh, welcome to my channel as a first timer. I'm glad you're here. We love talking about cruise ships, cruise ship vacations, deals, uh, events, uh, ports of call, you name it. And, and this is an open forum uh, show on a daily basis. You can ask me anything you want about going on a cruise, uh, about cruise lines, cruise ships, whatever you want to know. If I know the answer, I'll I'll let you know right now. If I don't know the answer, my gang who are signing in right now will probably know. Uh, and if none of us know, uh, we'll eventually get to the answer later in the show or tomorrow or Monday, Tuesday show. I'm on six days a week. Uh, I'm on Monday to Friday at 5 o'clock Eastern time and uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays at 8 o'clock Eastern time during the week. Uh, Saturdays, 2 o'clock Eastern time. And um, we just love talking about cruise ships and what's going on. We're right up to right up to date with the latest news, latest developments, and um, uh, love to uh, kind of compare notes with you guys and what, what you're hearing, what I'm hearing, what we're trying to figure out what's going on, uh, because every day something new is going on and uh, things are happening in the cruise business. So 27 plus million people expected this year to take a cruise. That's a record. Next year, they're approaching, they're going to approach 30 million. Unbelievable. 30 million people on a cruise starting next year. That's 60 thousand a week is that right Six, 60 thousand a week or is that six hundred thousand a week my math uh, my math fails me uh, i think it's six hundred thousand people a week starting next week next year that's you know ninety thousand people a day wow that's a lot of uh, activity and of course you got to get them to the ship you got to get them off the ship <laughs> you got it so in other words you got to get, get people from home to a cruise ship from a cruise ship back home that's 180,000 people a week doing this uh airlines love it car rental agencies love it Tour operators love it, or railroads love it in Europe, uh, hotels love it. Uh, the movement of people is business, and um, these kinds of numbers are staggering, and it's a global business, isn't it? It isn't just a localized little thing out of Florida. It's worldwide unbelievable business, and it is expanding dramatically. Fantastic. Speaking of what's growing, the channel, uh, well, yeah, my waistline too, but but the channel is growing. Uh this channel here is nine and a half months old. Uh, started with nada, no subscribers, no followers, no experience. The host didn't know what he was doing. Um, and uh, right now we are at, uh, where were we yesterday? 2,050 subscribers. Right now, 2,062. Uh, another 12 subscribers since yesterday. Thank you, new joiners, for coming in. It's great. Hope some of you are here today. Sign in if, you're, if you want to talk or not. It doesn't matter. Just say hi to me. Uh, tell me, where are you watching me from? What's your hometown? What's your high temperature going to be today? Uh, and we'll compare notes. If you're uh, going on a cruise for the first time ever uh, coming up, tell me the name of the ship you're going on. Uh, when are you going? What month? And where are you headed? Are you doing a Caribbean cruise for your first cruise? Are you doing a Mexican Riviera cruise? Are you doing a Mediterranean? Uh, doing a cruise up uh, Alaska way? Are you doing a cruise to uh, the British Isle? Love to, love to know that. Um, gotta say, uh, I want to give a special shout out today. I doubt she's watching because she's a busy gal today. Uh, I want to say hi to the, to the folks at Cruise Tips TV, um, uh, husband and wife uh, team. Um, 
she right now is on the bliss uh the gal she's on the bliss right now and she posted a video last uh, night she did a live stream last night yesterday afternoon evening uh from los angeles on the bliss uh in a cabin and i loved it i was just so happy to see that because it's one of the first times that i've noticed or seen a live stream from a cruise ship now i'll be it she's in port and so the uh, internet connection is as good as it's going to get. You're in Los Angeles. You're in the port of Los Angeles. So you should have a darn good internet connection. And I'm so glad she posted a live stream. If you get a chance to see it today, check, check it out. It's about 20 minutes long. And she did a little tour of the room. And then she talked about the ship. And I think that is wonderful. I see that as my future. I'm, I'm heading that direction where I want to be on cruise ships, talking to you guys, live streaming uh on board a cruise ship and hopefully a bunch of you guys will be there <laughs> we'll be doing these meet and greets uh it'll should be a lot of fun um anyway i was very very impressed very pleased i happened to notice a few names on the chat board that looked familiar to me and i love that i thought that was fantastic and um it's just great that we're all checking out what's going on out there and uh anyway special shout out to, to her at cruise tips tv that did a great job there she's on the ship today and i think she gets off the ship tomorrow it's just a one like a two two day deal it's kind of like a travel agents uh type uh, uh you know deal because the ship just came through the panama canal and landed in la that means i think jim zim is done on that cruise now jim zim lives in california so he may be heading home uh from the ship today and he'll be posting like crazy all this week i'm sure as he edits all of his footage and we should be seeing some more footage from jim zim so i've been promoting jim zim this week i've been promoting cruise tips tv i'm promoting lalita loca how you guys doing out there i know you watch me from time to time and thank you for the shout out this week that you guys gave me it made a difference uh i've had people join the channel um uh, and um, and uh, subscribe and watch and i'm so grateful for the growth of my channel uh, anyway it comes it's fantastic um who else am i saying hi to today uh cruising with wheels how you guys doing i know you're here from time to time uh any other youtubers out there uh who watch my show i welcome all of you guys you're always welcome to say hi here and uh and uh if you can give me a shout out on your end that would be great too uh we love to promote each other and build the uh, build the uh, volume of viewers for our channels um what else was i going to mention today oh the store <laughs> yeah i'm wearing another t-shirt of mine i just got this got my shipment this week i don't know if you saw my show the last couple of days but i did an unboxing video uh, uh i've always wanted to do one of those uh when my youtube when my red bubble order arrived i got five t-shirts in this is one of them right here the flag logo um this is available in like 16 colors it's unbelievable I, you know i just ordered five different shirts random colors different logos i have to put another order in because uh I got a bunch more logos up there. I just loaded one up this morning, another new one. It's a, it's a porthole logo with the traveling with Bruce around the sides. Uh, and now we're, uh, we're working on another one. Uh, and so they just keep on coming. So, um, I got a, I got a couple of messages about them. They keep, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting rave reviews from, from people who get these products. I'm so happy. I just ordered four coffee mugs, uh, for my own personal use. I can't wait for those to arrive. I got the, the, uh, the email yesterday morning. They've been shipped, made and shipped. They're on the way. They should be here next Thursday, Wednesday, something like that. So fantastic. I'm really stoked about that. So thanks to all of you who are picking up these shirts or, or whatever you're getting from my store, my Redbubble store. Thank you very much. The, uh, the, uh, this, in the description below this video is the, uh, the web address that you can just you know copy and click whatever uh or if you go to my home page where the banner is on the top traveling with bruce on the top right hand corner are all these little icons one after the other after the other the furthest one to the right is the red bubble icon go to that go there and you're in my red bubble store and then you can see all the logos along the bottom and you can pick you know peruse for days you'll be lost in there now because there's probably 10 or 12 logos uh, active uh, so you got lots of choices and, uh, you know, you like one look of a t-shirt, one look of a coffee mug and one look of a sticker or a tote bag or a pillow or a clock order away because they're, they're being, they're moving. There's people picking up uh, everything. I just think it's fantastic. I, that was the strategy going in, make as many logos as humanly possible, give you guys endless reams of choices. And then you can decide which one kind of, which one do you like the most? Second most, third most <laughs> order them all. <laughs> Thank you. And again, for all of you who are sending me super chats, thanks again for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. I am not monetized by YouTube still. 
just as an update. Um, and uh, the number one source of funding for my channel has now become um, uh, PayPal donations. Uh, PayPal has uh, become my number one source of funds coming into this channel from the generosity of my viewers. And I thank each and every one of you who do that. It's also an icon on that page. Um, and I am so appreciative because it's what I do. This is all I do. I'm a full timer here in my living room right now uh, talking about cruising. And this uh, late this fall, I'm looking to start hitting cruise ships. And as soon as I got my first, second, and third cruises book, you'll know. And then we'll see if we can get together on meet and greets. It should be a lot of fun. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, what else is I going to sing else? bring up here uh, before I get into the topic at hand I was gonna say hi to the gang uh, which I like to do uh, like I say if you're just watching me uh, first time 20th time say hi where are you uh, what's your high temperature today uh, I got such a kick out of the first couple of messages today I can't wait to read this although those of you who are watching live you know <laughs> those of you who are watching on recording you should know but anyway I'm catching up here we go Peter Heckema says hi Bruce still sunny and warm in Tarpon Springs Florida our rain event is supposed to start this afternoon. That's uh, Tropical Storm, Alberta. Uh, on and off rain all long weekend. It's really too bad. Then he says to me, uh, ordered another T-shirt today. Uh, got the new design T-shirt with the porthole. Looks great. Got mine in red. So fantastic. He just got his latest one. Then he says to me, I was wearing one of my Traveling with Bruce T-shirts uh, uh, today when I went to Publix. That's a big grocery store chain in Florida. A lady stopped me asking if I was Bruce. Are you are you traveling with Bruce? <laughs> I said no, I wasn't. But explained about your show. I think I got you a newbie. <laughs> she must, should be watching the show today. How about that? You got you gotta love it. It's right. I love that. Richard C. Happy Saturday, Bruce. What shirt do you have on today? Here it is, the flag T-shirt. Um, sea Keeper. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Rainy day here in Tacusa, Florida. Expecting a tropical uh, storms uh, influence to hit us tomorrow and Monday. Time to stay inside and do some chores. Thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Tracy Dunlop, 74 Fahrenheit. And lots of rain here in Naples, Florida today. Guess the weather's telling me it's time to get back inside, get some work done. <laughs> and Mother Nature has a subtle way of kind of dropping the hint on you. Uh, Tammy Ray, hi, everyone. Uh, yay, I made it, uh, but I'm heading out soon. <laughs> Can't stay long. Paul Lucas, hi, Bruce and all 68 in rain in Virginia. Paul, how are you? Elizabeth Green, no rain here yet in Daytona, buddy, but it's coming. Tammy Ray, gardening season, missing too many videos. Sorry, uh, Pamela Jordan. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Mostly cloudy and 80 Fahrenheit with storms later here in Iowa, South Carolina today. Yep, storms are coming. Richard C., kind of neat be, uh, being in a 4-7 storm on a ship. I, I don't know if it's kind of neat. <laughs> I don't kind of I, I uh, like it. Uh, yikes. Um, Seidel, uh, hi, Bruce and all. Seattle is sun and overcast, 69 for the high, 52 for the low. Only 154 days until I can drink painkillers in the haven on the bliss nina frank hi bruce and jen and all here uh, all blue skies so far the uh, the yays we can we can see um still 25 uh, degrees celsius 8 p.m this is in sweden it's very uh, nice weather there fantastic nina silo steve wow that is one big ship oh not all a once not all a once uh, that's one big ship not oh not all at once uh not quite sure what that means uh but he's talking about the bliss and uh that ship was so big going into los angeles had the back end uh, i went through the breakwater into that harbor turned around and then backed in for a mile or so to park itself that's how long this thing is um that's the biggest cruise ship ever to call on the port of los angeles how about that um tom eaton hi bruce and all 75 and partly cloudy rain tonight thanks to alberto yes tommy you're right thomas henry Hi, Bruce and, and everybody. Uh, what a difference, uh, Paul. 85 degrees and sunny in Richmond. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, Desi Wagner is here today. Hello, Bruce and everyone. Expecting 90 day tomorrow. I uh, should be outside, but that's, it's just a little too hot. Uh, stay inside. I got trivia coming. Uh, so we'll play some trivia today. Richard C. Golden, South Pacific, 29 today. Uh, where exactly are you, Richard? Uh, I know you're on a ship. Which ship are you on and where exactly are you right now? Where are you headed? Paul Wilgus Thomas, uh, we are supposed to be in the mid-70s uh at the most for next week and rain for the next eight days this is a slow moving tropical storm and it's just gonna lazily move along parts of mexico are getting 25 inches of rain not good mudslides and other flooding issues thomas henry just uh uh got back from cctv on the bliss 
just got back from CTTV on the Bliss. We need to help Debbie E with using the seven shower heads. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I was watching um, uh, that video, that that live stream, and, and uh, the gal from Cruise Tips TV took us into the bathroom to show us the bathroom and the wide double sink. Really cool. And the shower. And uh, she was showing us seven nozzles. Seven nozzles in a balcony. It was about, ba they call it a suite, a mini suite. A balcony. Looked to me like a balcony room, like any other balcony room that I've seen before on a Norwegian ship, but uh, the bathroom had these shower heads that are pointing kind of at you and then down below. There's two down on the bottom. The bottoms of your feet. Just put your well, aim your bottoms of your feet for the nozzles and let it hit them. Fantastic! I love that. Um, so that's pretty pretty cool looking. Tommy Eaton, Bruce, I see you. Uh, I see you have uh, 2,000 plus subscribers posting with 30 second commercials. Any word on monetization? Let me see it again. Bruce, I see you tubers. Oh oh, I see. I see YouTubers uh, with 2,000 plus subscribers posting with 30 second commercials already. Any word on monetization? Very good. Nothing here. Uh, I'm still waiting for the green light. As soon as you find, you guys ever see a video of mine with a commercial, you'll let me know because <laughs> I'm hearing ditkiss from uh, YouTube about monetization from my end. Other than, um, I'm just hoping that they're kind of getting through the the backlog and that they're starting to monetize channels um i'd be curious to know um uh, by the way if anyone if if the folks at um lalita loca if you if you if you folks are watching today or if you're catching this show later uh let me know have you guys been monetized yet i know that you and i were both uh pushing to get to a thousand subs on time during the uh, rush to become monetized back in january have they monetized you guys at all? I, I'm not. I'm still waiting for that. I'm curious whether you guys have been monetized or not. Debbie Wagner, Desi Wagner, I was just watching that too, Thomas. Thomas Henry, um, uh, I will be in a spa mini suite uh, on the Bliss uh, March 30th, 2019, and loved seeing Sherry's room. There you go. Right on. Fantastic. Paul Wilkins, I just watched that too, Thomas. A silo. Watched it live. Funny. We were all posting, hurry up and get to muster. <laughs> <laughs> she was ignoring the muster call. They were already putting the warnings out. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to get ready. And she's trying to do her show. I, I get it. You're live. You're trying to do your show. But I'm sure she went to muster right away after the, she got off the air. Nina Frank, um, after uh, Sharon at sea, been in here snooping around, she tried to do a live stream with her husband, Disaster. They were both talking out of each other's mouth. Very annoying. Nothing like the good vibes you give. Well, there you go. Um, Thank you for the compliment for me. Thank you, <laughs> Thomas Henry. I saw you there, Silo. Uh, great seeing friends. I never have gotten a notice of CTTV live feeds, um, Cruise Tips TV. Uh, sea Keeper, the whole image is out of focus. The whole image is out of focus. Um, well, you're right. You know, I'm I'm looking at myself on the phone, and that looks blurry. Let me take a look at my uh, thing. Oh, it looks terrible over here on my thing. Let's see if uh, if I can help in any way. I don't know if I can make this any better. Um, let me just take a peek at uh, my settings. Uh, no, no, not that. Um, let me go here to where am I? Um, invite people. No, oh, new microphone, camera off. Adjust bandwidth. Um, if I adjust the bandwidth just one notch down, uh, let's see what does what what does that do? Um, I don't know if it'll help you or make it worse. It could be just a streaming issue. I really don't know. Um, I'll keep an eye on my uh, image here on my phone to see if it helps in any way. Let me know, folks, if it's any better. Uh, Silo, Sherry is great to watch. Staying at the Maya Hotel before our cruise because her video on the hotel. Uh, so she did a she did a, a review. Um, I see it switched now. I don't know if it's any better. Um, uh, let's just go forward here. Thomas Henry, I just booked. Ta uh, I just booked return airfare via Travelocity for the March 30th cruise, uh, taking a chance with a 2.15 departure from LAX. Oh, you're doing uh, same day. Uh, wow. Um, we'll have to watch for that. Um, now, if you're going, are you going to Seattle, uh, uh, Thomas? Because uh, if you are, you, know, you should be all right, I'm hoping. Uh, Nina Frank, uh, she looks so out of place. She, she fit better in a hut in Jamaica smoking doobies. There are fans, and there are non-fans. <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
I, I don't know. I cannot comment on that. Uh, just what can I say? A uh, little blurry today, Bruce Richard C. Nina, wow. I guess there are two different channels out there. Love her and husband's vids on YouTube. Great information always. Elizabeth Breen, I am using Sharon at Sea as my travel agent for 20, 2019. And she's very nice and kind. There you go. Charles Jordan, 27, watching and only 10 thumbs ups. Now is a good time to hit that thumbs ups button. Charles, I couldn't agree more. Uh, <laughs> folks, if you're so kind to do so, that'd be great. Debbie Manuel, good morning or good day to all. Cloudy with a mix of rain and sun today. And Chico, hi, Debbie. I saw you on uh, Cruise Tips TV. I saw you making comments, uh, getting good information from uh, from her uh, on what's going on. How is my picture doing, guys? It is, any, is it any better or is it just as bad? It looks terrible uh, from here. I'm going to go back to a, a higher uh, quality um, uh a rhythm here see if the bandwidth can go up there we go I, i'll go up to the higher level it, i this might be better for us um uh, you may want to try to uh uh you know re re redo it um do a refresh but i don't know if that'll help um i'm hoping it'll help uh my phone it looks pretty clear uh but uh it does not look like stellar clear it just shifted again and it's it's so so i admit it's just so so and there's not much i can do about it other than uh Keep going and hope it just improves. Um, let's see here. Uh, what do we got? Nina, uh, Richard, the opinions is like the butt split, but whatever. Uh, Debbie Manuel, thanks, Thomas. Uh, Paul Wilkins, anywhere, way worse. Uh, loved seeing you there, Debbie. Uh, DNG Explorers, good morning, Bruce, and from us in Central California. How you guys doing, DNG? Sorry about my lousy picture today. I'm glad to have you here. I know you uh, joined me yesterday for the first time, sent me a message. Great to have you guys come by. Paul Wilkins, that's some, that's some better. Tommy Eaton, brighter bandwidth seems, higher bandwidth seems better. Okay, well, uh, I'm up at the max, and I'm crossing my fingers and hope it just stays as good as it can be. Silo, Bruce, do you do the signal flags on your shirt say anything? No. Um, uh, I, had, uh, I had a logo, uh, a prototype made up that had actual um, flags that actually meant something, um, and then we tried the, the kind of the Traveling with Bruce thing on it, but the color scheme was so um, um, uh, unagreeable, I guess is the word I'm looking for, uh, that, that uh, we decided to just go with a generic look of low flags and put the logo, like put the, the wording on there and just go with that. Um, I, I got this shirt in gray. I think it might look better in white maybe. Maybe it looked better in uh, black. Uh, but, you know, to each his own. You can go to the website. Check all the colors and see what you think. And if you like one of those, grab them. Um, this works well on a coffee mark because the um, the logo is wide and it, it wraps around a lot of the mug, which is kind of cool. Um, but you know, it does say what it says. It works, but um, uh, no, the flags really don't mean anything. <laughs> Seekeeper, I think that spider of yours has spun a web across your camera's lens uh, on a one-inch monitor. It doesn't look so hot. But I'll put you up. I'll I'll put up with it. No worries. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, folks, for the uh, poor quality today. Uh, I'm just going to look again at my channel. I, I'm looking at it on my computer as if I were watching with you guys, and it's terrible. Uh, well, it's not like impossible to see me, but it is a uh, it is fuzzy. There's no question about it. Um, there is nothing I can do from here to improve it. Um, um, I, I'm uh, I'm hopeful that the the feed will get better or. Uh, if you guys try to reload uh, from time to time, maybe that'll improve it. I, I really don't know. Uh, what's your load up speed? I don't know, Charles. <laughs> I'm not a techie. I have no idea what this stuff means. Uh, Debbie Manuel, we are twins today, Bruce. Wearing exact same shirt today, but mine is purple. Love it. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Silo Steve, I like the great. Right, right on. Uh, Thomas Henry, Bruce needs uh, FIOS from Verizon. Yeah, well, Verizon isn't in Canada. Uh, Bruce is using Great White North, uh, whatever they got. I'm, I'm on TELUS up here. TELUS is usually very good, but um, uh, today this is uh, this is what we're getting, unfortunately, for me. Um, Nina Frank, gray is good for you. Uh, yeah, you like my gray look? Okay. <laughs> I know I'm blue and I'm white. Uh, and I guess gray is okay, but apparently not green and not red from what you're telling me. Uh, but I... I do have those coming. So I, sorry, I got variety coming. Uh, Randy Lucas, hello all from a cloudy day in Paradise, California, high of 72 degrees. Clearly, there are sunspots over Creston, British Columbia. That's what it's got to be because it is a, a nice day today. 
gorgeous, calm, no wind, uh, no storms, no nothing. Should be just a perfect day for a good signal to go out. Uh, but we're just not getting a good signal going out. I don't know why. Um, it's just the way it is. I, I, I don't know. Um, back to Tropical Storm Alberto, just to update you guys. Um, for now, Alberto has only affected two cruise ships um, at this point in time. They've affected the itinerary for the Carnival Valor and the Carnival Fantasy. The two ships right now um, were supposed to go to uh, Cozumel, and they've avoided Cozumel completely. And they're in, instead, they have ended up going to um, Pro, Progreso in Mexico. Um, they're, uh, they're going to Progreso, Mexico, which would be um, uh, on, on the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, it would be west uh, towards the Gulf side of the peninsula, whereas Cozumel is on the Caribbean Sea side. Uh, Progresso is north and over the hump there. So they're heading there. They're going to stay there instead. Let the storm go past, and they'll probably follow behind the storm to come back to port. Uh, one is from Galveston, which is good news because that ship should be able to avoid uh, most of the storm's nonsense. Uh, the other one is headed to uh, – did I write it down? Um, if I recall, I thought it was uh, New Orleans uh, or was it Mobile, Alabama? I don't remember. Uh, so they're going to have to uh, tolerate that. The storm itself is headed north, northeast-ish, uh, uh, moving towards Florida, Louisiana, out just for heavy rain warnings. And the governor of Florida has already declared, I believe, a state of emergency uh, for all counties in Florida because of the heavy rains. Now, what will happen with cruises leaving and coming in and out of about uh, Miami, perhaps Fort Lauderdale, perhaps not. Um, it, they're probably going to get a good soaking in the on the East Coast. Uh, that uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale and maybe Port Canaveral. Uh, the Keys will definitely get a soaking. No question about that. And of course Tampa as well. Um, but will that uh, will that uh, stop a cruise? I don't know. I was just thinking about the uh, the ship uh, that we were talking about the other day uh, regarding the uh, Carnival ship that had to cancel two days of cruises due to uh, technical issues. Um, I've already moved my sheets, but I'm thinking about the uh, ship that, that uh, had to stay in port for two extra days before it could get out, and they ended up adding a, uh, a concert, a country and western concert to the ship's um, uh, itinerary. Um, and you think I could find that story quick, quick, uh, it just shows you how many videos I make. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, let's see here. Carnival miracle. Uh, yeah. Carnival miracle. Uh, it was, uh, this Sunday for a cruise, May the 27th. That's tomorrow was supposed to leave, but it's been delayed for two days. Well, now it's going to be sitting in the uh, port with the rains coming. So these poor passengers that we're looking for a getaway. Uh, let's be honest, however, I don't know if the ship would have left port anyway um, with this uh, with this uh, system coming in. Uh, the last thing the cruise line would want to do is pull out on Sunday uh, and go right into the teeth of the storm. Um, on the other hand, they may have been left Tampa and stayed right along the coast of Florida, gone towards the Keys and, and gone out to more towards the Eastern Caribbean and then worked their way because they were headed to, um, uh, they were headed to um, uh, Grand Cayman, Cozumel, and then I believe they were headed to uh, Honduras, if I recall, and then back to Tampa eventually. There was one or two more stops that they had to give up. Right now, the ship's going to be sitting in uh, Tampa Sunday and Monday and will leave on Tuesday. Now, Tuesday, the storm should be pretty well past the Tampa area, and so getting out of the harbor shouldn't be an issue, and the seas should be relatively calm again, although they'll be settling down afterwards. We'll find out uh, what happens with the, uh, with, sorry, I'm bumping my computer. We'll have to find out what happens with the, uh, with the itinerary of that cruise ship uh, leaving Tampa on Tuesday. Um, as far as other ships coming and going, going to Cuba right now, uh, they're probably going to certainly avoid the western end of Cuba. They're going to stay towards the eastern end if they can. They may stay at sea between the Keys and Cuba, where it's calm, and ride it out. Um, and then there are ships who are headed to the uh, Cayman Islands, 
Uh, they're probably all right. Um, Jamaica should be okay. Um, but again, we'll find out if there are any uh, itinerary changes. This is the beauty of a cruise ship. Uh, a cruise ship at sea can outrun a hurricane or a tropical storm and can certainly avoid the worst of it by staying well out of its path and, uh, and uh, you know, giving passengers the best of all worlds if at all possible. Um, let's see here, Randy Lucas. Good to say hi. Nina's giving me a thumbs up. Silos upgrade to business class. We did. Never an issue. Uh, Thomas Henry, help. Uh, how do I get a picture on my YouTube post? How do I get a picture on my YouTube post? I have a picture on Facebook. Not sure what I did wrong. Uh, how do I get a picture on my YouTube post? Um, not sure. You try to message to a YouTuber with a photo attachment? Is that what you're trying to do? Not quite sure what uh, what's going on. Silo, a soup for all. <laughs> Thomas Henry, hi, Randy. Uh, let's see here, Randy Lucas. Hi there. Uh, Randy Lucas, hello, Debbie. Uh, Mel Melody M, hello from Tennessee. Hi, Melody. How's it going today? Welcome to the show. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returnee, I apologize for forgetting you. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm old, you know. Uh, welcome here to the shot to the show today, Debbie Manuel. Hi, Randy. Uh, you guys get much rain. Jim Thomas. Hey, all. Hey, Jim. How you doing? How's that knee? Randy Lucas. Nina still missing your part of the world. Randy Lucas. Uh, Debbie, not as much as I would have thought. Uh, DNG Explorers. If you are going on a ship for the first time, do you like to do research on it or be surprised when you go? Uh, DNG. Uh, I'm the, the, the first. The first. I, I do my research. I watch YouTube videos about the ship that I'm going to go on, uh, even now, uh, you know, 8th, ninth, 10th, 12th, whatever number of cruises. Uh, I like to see what other folks have found about the ship, uh, what they like about it, what they don't like about it. <clears throat> I like to do research before I even book uh, the cruise. Uh, so I know the ship, you know, if I got two or three cruises in mind, two or three different ships in mind, I'll do the research on all of them. And then I'll have an idea what I do like about these ships and what I don't. Because I have certain likes and dislikes that I want from a cruise ship, it's things that are important to me or not important to me, and so I'll uh, I'll be in, involved, very much involved, uh, watching what's going on. I'll even look at videos about the itinerary of these cruises. So if I know that uh, ship number one is going to a port I've never been before, I'll check out that port. And I'll see if that's part of the reason I want to go on that cruise. And on ship number two, it might be going to a part of the Caribbean or Mediterranean I've never been before. I'll do research on that too. YouTube videos are great for all of it. It may be that, like say for example, uh, you might be going to Palermo. Just I'll just pick a spot. Palermo in Italy, uh, Sicily. Well, um, uh, I may see videos on Palermo that have nothing to do with the cruise ship. They're just palermo videos but on the other hand i may see someone who was on a cruise ship went to palermo but they're not on the ship i'm going to be on doesn't matter i'm doing the research on the port as well so <clears throat> i'll try to find videos on a cruise ship that i'm going to go on that's on the same itinerary if possible or if not just ship cruise ship videos uh you know reviews tours anything like that uh, but i'm a big stickler for how good is the spa does it have a decent spa? Because that's a big deal for me on a cruise ship. I want to relax, and I want to know if the spa is uh, you know, worthy of, of my money. Um, and then I'm curious about the room. Uh, if I'm in a balcony room on the 10th level or 14th level, whatever it is, or the level, you know, the deck has a name, Lido deck or whatever, um, I'll try to find videos about that ship for those cabins on those floors. Yeah, so if I can find a, a balcony room on the 14th level of the so-and-so ship, I'll start watching YouTube videos of that. And that gives me a real good idea of the intelligence about the room I, I'm going to be going into. I know I've done my research on the website for the cruise line. I've, I've done you know other research. But if I can get just anyone doing a video with their cell phone, that is valuable to me because that is a real person review of the room being used in real life rather than having a studio shot or a professional photographer with perfect lighting, perfect equipment, and no luggage in the room. I want to see the room packed with people's stuff. I want to know what it's going to look like when I'm in there with my stuff. That gives me a real handle on what I'm looking at. So that's that's what I do, DNG. Uh, that's what I do. Melody M. New Melody, you're new. Welcome to the show. Uh, have you been on a cruise before? Oh, here it is. Going on my first cruise next year. Can't wait. Awesome stuff. Tell us the name of the ship you're going on and where are you going. This is fantastic. 
Elizabeth Breen, I'd rather be on a cruise during a hurricane with port uh, changes or or no ports than be at home with no power for seven days. There you go. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be in Florida and it's pouring rain and you have no power, why don't you just go on a cruise? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, have someone check in on your house while you're gone, perhaps, if, you, if need be. Oh, man. Uh, Debbie Manuel, welcome, Melody. Melody, everyone's going to say hi to you. Richard C. Wow, gotta go. Uh, picture too bad, Bruce. Yeah, that picture's it's terrible. I'm really sorry about that today, guys. Um, Melody M, thank you, Debbie. Uh, Charles Jordan, run a speed test and it'll let you know what your download and upload speeds are. Try Infinity Speed Test. This is this is my results when I ran the Infinity Speed Test. Charles Jordan, speed results, download speed, upload speed. Tommy Eaton, welcome to the channel, Melody. Nina Frank, Randy, come visit again. Some good cruises in the Baltic with good ships. Mel Liam, thank you, Tommy. Randy Lucas, Nina, we are in April. We are in April and November next year. Oh, wowee. Seakeeper, uh, great advice, Bruce. Never book a cruise on a ship you haven't researched to death. Ship prices, itineraries, unbiased critics, deck plans, YouTube, and even more, if I can get my hands on it. That's exactly what I do, sir. We're exactly on the same page. Thomas Henry, I agree with you over the spa. I have done uh, thermal uh, on every cruise. Uh-huh, very very, very important to know. Some Nina Frank, uh, nice Randy. Uh, they have good itineraries. Charles Jordan, sea keeper. I'm guilty of doing this laugh out loud. Uh, <laughs> Jim Thomas, welcome, Melody. Uh, Desi Wagner, super exciting, Melody. Welcome. Yeah, Melody, what ship are you going on? Where are you going on your cruise? Uh, the gang will uh, give you all of the advice you could ever want. Uh, you have any questions about your cruise, the cruise line, the ship, the uh, ports you're going to? Just let us know. We're here to help. That's what we do. We love talking cruising, whether we're newbies or oldies. <laughs> we love talking about it. Okay, um, another piece of news I'll give you before we go to trivia, because I got a couple of trivia questions for you today. Um, MSC Cruises, they're um, they're bringing out um, uh, shortly something called a digital personnel assistant. Digital personal assistant. Uh, it's going to be called Zoe. Z O E is the spelling of this thing. And they are um, keeping millennials in mind uh, uh, with regard to this. And, and I mentioned this a few months back. All cruise lines today are designing ships that they know we're going, are going to be at sea for the next 20 years uh, at least. And a ship that's going to be at sea for 20 years from the year 2020 to the year 2040, they know that a guy like me isn't going to be the customer. They know that Brucey boy here will be cruising for maybe another 10 years or so until he's in his 70s. And then we don't know because Bruce might be so, uh, you know, so brain dead that we can't put him on a cruise anymore. He drools all the time. Who knows? But if, uh, if I were 35 or 40, these ships are for me. They are thinking about me right now. We got a 40-year-old out there, and this ship is going to be at sea for the next 20 years. We want to produce cruise ships right now that appeal to the 40-year-old because in five years and in eight years and in 10 years, when that 40-year-old hits 50, they're cruising. And we want our ships to be millennial-friendly, which means wireless internet throughout the ship, uh, personal assistance here. Uh, we got to go right to the most you know, absolute modern efficiency standards there are because millennials will expect nothing less. And uh, this particular system here is designed to be um, put on the first ship, which will be the MSC Bella, Be Bellissima, which is launched in 2019. And it's being developed in partnership with Harman International and Samsung Electronics. Uh, the point of this system, the Zoe system, uh, it will be used in the staterooms in your um, to provide you with all the info you need about all the ships activities shore excursions anything you want to know in an effect it'll be interactive uh it'll be functional in seven languages right off the bat those would be english french italian spanish german brazilian portuguese and mandarin that is the uh, the market that msc caters to those seven languages cover most of their markets and they want to provide those guests with an in-room experience so that they don't have to go to this help services desk and ask somebody in person they can get all the info they need right from their rooms it of course will work probably off of your app that'll be the next linkage and you're going to have passengers in the next 
four, five, six years, we're going to be on going on certain cruise ships where we're not going to really see very many people behind help desks anymore. We'll have our own help desk in our hand. It'll all be here, interactive, artificial intelligence, in our rooms, on our cell phones, through the apps. It's an amazing uh, uh, continual transformation. It's happening. It's an investment of millions, millions being invested in this. But MSC is expected to be the second largest cruise line in the world within the next five to seven years, passing Royal Caribbean. Uh, and then they'll be chasing down uh, Carnival for number one. Of course, Carnival has 10 different cruise lines going right now. Uh, and Royal Caribbean isn't sitting by idly twiddling its thumbs. Uh, they are also building ships like crazy. But MSC has got a huge cruise ship build program underway right now. And they are looking to move up the rankings in size. They are going quite aggressively in that area. And this right here, the electronic personal assistant, Zoe is another indication of the kind of money they're prepared to pour into their ships. Should be a most interesting uh, thing to witness. Like I said, by early 2019, only uh, a year from now, this system will already be deployed on the Bellamissima and every ship coming after, and they will probably retrofit ships going back. It's going to be something. Now, believe me, uh, Royal Caribbean will do it. Uh, Norwegian will do it. Carnival will do it. All the lines, they'll all do it. Uh, but MSC is absolutely running it as hard as they can right now. Uh, very, very interesting um, uh, news there. Okay. We'll get ready to play trivia here in just a minute. Let me catch up with everybody here. Uh, uh, super exciting. Welcome for um, uh, Melody from da uh, from uh, Dizzy, uh, Desi. Um, uh, Thomas Henry, is Randy retired? I'm envious of their travel, of all their travel. Melody M, I, flow, I've, I have it down to two places, to Mexico or the Bahamas. Right on, right on. Uh, you, you can't go wrong either way, so uh, you'll be fine. Melody M, I don't know yet. Uh, Desi Wagner, on which ships are you looking at? She's she's looking. She's checking it out. Elizabeth Breen, we're going out, uh, uh, going on the Liberty um, out of Port Canaveral for the second time in 35 days. Fantastic, Elizabeth. 35 days and counting. Melody M, I am choosing Carnival. Right on, Melody. Good choice. Uh, look at uh, if you can look at a Horizon. Get on the uh, the Carnival Horizon cruise ship. That's brand, brand new. If you can find a deal on that one. Uh, or if you can go on maybe, uh, what would it be, the Vista? Um, some of the newer ones, uh, the, the the Vista class ships. Uh, anybody have suggestions for her? Uh, let her know. Um, uh, let's see, Randy Lucas, Melody, uh, are you talking about the East Coast or the West Coast? I, I think she's talking East Coast, uh, uh, Randy. Uh, Nina Frank, uh, which ship, Melody? Uh, Desi Wagner, retracted. I'm so jealous, Elizabeth. <laughs> DNG Explorers. Uh, we are going on our first non-Disney cruise this December. Excited for the casino, but wonder if the machines are tighter at the beginning of the cruise or at the end of the cruise. Any insights? Uh, they're god-awful all the time. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, D and G. Uh, I wish I had good news for you, but uh, the, the casinos—they're fun, of course. They're fun, um, and of course, you got the slots, and you got blackjack, and and uh, you might—you have craps. I don't know about roulette, but you got craps. Um, you know what? A slot—a slot machine is a slot machine is a slot machine. When it's programmed to go, it's programmed to go. So if you play, you play, and if you hit one, you hit one. That's just the way it is. I got lucky on a cruise. Uh, uh, towards the end of a cruise, ironically, uh, I was uh, I was on Princess, I believe, and um, I nailed a uh, a um, it was like a nickel machine or something like that, a penny machine, and I was playing maximum credits, so it was like two bucks a shot. And uh, um, I I was into a, into the casino for a little bit of money already because near the end of the cruise, when wouldn't you know it, I hit a, a bonus round and uh, got some of these free spins and. Um, Inside the bonus round, I got another bonus round feature, which gave me more free spins and started to compound it. And instead of getting, uh, uh, say, uh, $5 per win thing on the free spins, it was up to $20 per win. Then I got another free spin and I pumped it to like 40 bucks a shot. Well, I got, like I said, I had a good hour. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, by the time I walked away from the machine, I had about 800 bucks. Uh, that came back to me and that went a ways towards the room tab that i was running up because 
Of course, on a cruise ship, you just use your room key in the slot machine to, to charge up the slot machine. It's just charged to your room uh, on your credit card. You don't need cash in the casino necessarily. Well, I cashed out uh, uh, because it was the last night that, of the cruise and uh, I cashed out the dough. I walked over to the home, uh, the guest services desk. I said, what's my balance on my room, please? So they handed them my room key and they showed me and I gave them 700 cash. <laughs> I said, here. <laughs> Put this towards that, and uh, the rest stayed on my card, and that, that helped. Uh, <laughs> so got lucky that time. Melody, I'm looking at the elation, the breeze, or the sunshine. Guys, what do you think about that? Uh, those those three ships. What should she do? Elizabeth Breen. Yeah, it is just a quick cruise to the Bahamas. We love to do some shopping and walk to uh, Junkaroo Beach and spend the day in the ocean. Randy Lucas, Elizabeth, we're on the Liberty in October out of Galveston. Looking forward to hearing from how you like the ship. Desi Wagner, I need to move to Florida. Gosh, darn it the heck, I got to get to Florida. Listen, it's Breen. I won 800 bucks the first night I played on the breeze uh, and it was and I was only uh, using 50 bucks. Well done, Nina Frank, Melody, Breeze seems very good. The breeze, I, I've heard good things about the breeze. Elizabeth Breen, I have been on it before, Randy. And if you go uh, to La Lido, you YouTube channel, they have a ship tour, which is great. I think it's beautiful. Right on. Nina Frank, lots of free food. Elizabeth Breen, I have been on the breeze and we booked it again. Love it. Uh, right on. Uh, D&G Explorers. Wow, that's awesome, Elizabeth. Uh, Charles Jordan. Uh, Melody, uh, Melody M, if you have not cruised on the Oasis, you should give it a try. Uh, we are set to take our second cruise, the Oasis, this December the 16th. Great ship and just so much to do that you never get bored. D&G Explorers, good info on room card for casino. Didn't know. Elizabeth Breen, you are able to use cash in the casino on Carnival, and that is and that is what we do. We budget for that. <laughs> when we're out of cash, we don't go to the casino anymore, right on. <laughs> Tommy Eaton, Melody just got back from the Bahamas on Alation. Great first cruise. There you go. The Breeze is a good one. Uh, Alation, okay. If you can step up to the Oasis of the Seas or the Harmony of the Seas for uh, Royal Caribbean, whoa, are you in for something unbelievable. Um, if you're looking for like a three, four-day kind of cruise to start, Check out Mariner of the Seas. That's a Royal Caribbean cruise. It's being retrofitted, refurbished right now in Spain. It'll be back in Miami in June. So if you're thinking of a cruise this fall, take a look at the prices of cruises on Mariner of the Seas. Um, I did a video uh, on this channel about two or three months ago. If you go to my homepage, you'll see all the videos I've ever done. Um, you'll find a video I did about vacationstogo.com, how you can use vacationstogo.com to find uh, uh, pricing on cruises. Uh, and the beauty of that site, I find, is if you want to do a cruise that's three days, four days long, perhaps less than a week or exactly a week or longer than two weeks, it doesn't matter, you can ask that website to give you all the cruises say out of florida all the ports in florida for less than a week uh to the caribbean and it'll show you from whenever to wherever so let's say from july to september or from uh, august until december or whatever range you want they'll show you every cruise available uh in that time frame from low to high price and then you can check check for yourself what's the best deal because you may find that you can go on the elation or you can go on the carnival breeze on a three-day cruise for 350 bucks but you might also find that for 360 bucks you can go on the harmony of the seas or the oasis of the seas or the mariner of the seas much larger ships with way more uh, features for about the same money and now you might want to take a look at that instead so i'm just Going to throw that at you to check it out. Check out Norwegian cruises, of course. Check out Royal Caribbean. Check out Carnival and all the other lines that are available. Again, Vacations to Go will show you every cruise line, every, cru every cruise. Uh, that could be a lot of fun. Um, uh, let's see, Melody, I will check it out. There you go. Uh, D&G Explorers, a good info on the casino. Here's another tip for you. You need cash? You actually need cash? Because you're going to go on shore, you don't want to use the ATM machine on the cruise ship. It's going to run you like three bucks, four bucks. Go to the casino with your card. Go to a slot machine. 
put it in there and load up 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever, whatever you want. Um, play one hand, cash out, you'll get your ticket. Walk the ticket over to the cashier at the casino, they'll give you cash. You're just being charged to your room for the uh, for the fee. No ATM fee. You got cash. There you go. Um, another little tip for you. Uh, Seakeeper, Mariner uh, of the Seas, September the 10th, four days, Bahama, 259 on vacations to go right now. How about that deal? Uh, Melody, check that out. Mariner of the Seas, September the 10th, four days, Bahamas, 259, vacations to go.com. Check out my video. I show you how to use the website on all kinds of scenarios. I actually point the camera at my computer and you actually see my hand, my real hand, where I point on the screen to tell you what's going on as I move the mouse and then you follow. You can do it just like I do it. It's If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Trust me. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we've got trivia today and let's get some trivia going. Not too much, but a little bit. The first trivia question I got for you has everything to do with Tokyo. I've got a Tokyo-centered, Tokyo-themed uh, trivia question because, you know, we all love using Tokyo as an answer. Well, Tokyo isn't the answer, but Tokyo is the subject of this trivia quiz. And let's see if you guys are on the ball today. Here's the deal. If you've never played trivia before, you get to send me one answer at a time. Uh, in this case, you're going to be giving me uh, city names or, or uh, so. Um, and if you've got three answers in mind, you got to send me three separate texts to give me the answers. Um, but in this case here, I have 19 correct answers. The question is, we've played this one before. So those of you who've been around a while, you'll go, I, I think we've done this one before. But it's been a while, and I bet you you don't remember the answers. Uh, maybe you do some, but not all. It's pretty simple. Tell me where from the United States, from the U.S. and U.S. territories, can you fly to Tokyo nonstop on a jet airplane? What cities can you fly from the United States or territories from the United States to Tokyo nonstop? There are 19 of them, and let's see what happens. The shortest flight is 1,558 miles. The longest flight is 6,850 miles. And let's see what we've got here. We've got Randy Lucas starting off with Atlanta. And Atlanta is uh, on the list, and it's the longest flight, 6,850 miles, nonstop to Tokyo. Uh, Randy Lucas is going after San Francisco as a second guess. Correct, uh, fifth uh, uh, shortest distance, 5,124 miles. Uh, let's see here. We've got New York from Paul Wilgus. That is right, JFK, uh, 6,745 miles. Uh, Vancouver, uh, Seakeeper, I think in Vancouver, well, Vancouver's in Canada, and I'm looking for United States, uh, but uh, there are direct flights from Vancouver, um, but it won't work on this cruise question here. So, uh, Tom Eaton, San Francisco, we got Thomas Henry, Los Angeles, along with Desi Wagner. Yes, LAX is definitely on the list, uh, 5,400 miles, uh, 5,450 miles from Los Angeles to Tokyo. Tracy Dunlop has New York. Randy Lucas has JFK. Both correct. Nina is correct with New York. Elizabeth is right on Los Angeles. Seakeeper, Seattle. Yeah. Seattle, 4,769 miles. Kind of similar to Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, D&G Explorer, San Francisco. We've got it already, but you're bang on. Uh, Thomas Henry, Chicago is another answer. Chicago, 11th uh, on the list, 6,264 miles. 6,264 Nina Frank, Los Angeles, Desi Wagner, Chicago, Debbie Manuel, Seattle, Tracy Dunlop, Newark, yes, Newark, New Jersey, uh, 6,732 miles. Los Angeles from Tracy, uh, we've got uh, Dulles, which is in Virginia, Thomas Henry, uh, Dulles, um, we're talking sort of Washington, uh, D.C. area, and I believe we're uh, good here. Let me just triple check for what, yeah, 6,700 53 miles, second longest direct flight to Tokyo from the territory of the United States. Uh, very good. Uh, Washington, Nina got it as well. Uh, Nina also went after Detroit. Uh, Detroit, uh, Michigan, uh, yes, uh, uh, on the list as well. A little over 6,300 miles, probably 6,400 miles. Uh, who else we got here? San Diego from Tommy Eaton. Uh, San Diego, um, yes. Uh, uh, definitely about 5,300 miles from San Diego. Well done. Dallas, Tracy Dunlop. Um, Dallas, have we already got Dallas going here? Uh, 
No, we haven't picked Dallas. It's there, 60, 6,500 miles or so. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska, Seakeeper is thinking about Anchorage, Alaska. And I'm um, taking a look at scheduled flights. There are no scheduled direct flights from Anchorage uh, return, um, not on the list. Uh, Randy Lucas, Bakersfield International, one of the standby answers, uh, not this time. <laughs> Jim Thomas, he's wondering about Hawaii. Uh, yes, Honolulu in Hawaii, 3,800, 19 miles, second shortest flight to Tokyo nonstop from USA property, USA land. Phoenix, Nina Frank is thinking about Phoenix. Um, looking here, it does not look like it. Um, Phoenix does not have direct flights to Tokyo. Nope, does not have direct flights. Um, Chicago O'Hare, we've got uh, Chicago covered, which covers O'Hare. We're already there. Dizzy uh, Wagner, Honolulu, we got it. Elizabeth Honolulu, we got it as well. D&G Explorers, laugh out loud, Randy. Bakersfield. <laughs> Tracy Dunlap, uh, Philadelphia. What about the city of brotherly love? Can you fly from Philadelphia to Tokyo nonstop? The answer is no. No direct flights from Philly to Tokyo. Uh, Tommy Eaton is thinking about Houston. Um, Houston is correct. 6,643 miles. We got it. Thank you. Pittsburgh. Tracy Dunlap, wondering about Pittsburgh. No. Pittsburgh, no direct flight. Um, Thomas Henry, Baltimore. What about Baltimore? Uh, no, Baltimore also not on the direct flight path either. Uh, Nina Frank, San Francisco, we've got. Baltimore from Tracy, we've got. Guam, Melody M, Guam, yeah. Shortest flight nonstop to Tokyo from the U.S. territory, Guam, 1,558 miles. Good job. Tommy Eaton, Denver? Yep, Denver is another one. 5,792 miles. Salt Lake City, Desi Wagner, uh, wondering about Salt Lake City. Nope, Salt Lake City not on the list, even though it's an international airport. Atlanta, we've got San Jose. Yes, on the list, uh, just over 51, 5,200 miles. Um, what else do we have here? Seattle, we've got. Let me tell you what you have. So far, you've got Guam, Honolulu, Seattle. You're missing the fourth city, the fourth shortest. San Francisco, San Jose, Los Angeles, San Diego, Denver, all done. We're looking for the number 10 city. We've got Chicago, Detroit, Dallas, Houston. We're looking for the number 15 city. And then we got Newark, uh, New York, JFK, of course, Washington, and Atlanta. So we're looking for one, two, three cities to go. I'm looking for a West Coast city. I'm looking for an East Coast city. And I'm looking for a Middle America. So one of everything, uh, Denver, uh, Salt Lake City, Atlanta, San Jose, Seattle, Portland. Portland, Jim Thomas, bingo. That is the West Coast City, 4,822 miles. Fourth shortest flight to Tokyo from U.S. land. Uh, Anchorage, no. Miami, no. We're looking for a, an East Coast City and a Central America spot. Uh, Minneapolis, there it is. Uh, Minneapolis is 5,950 miles away from Tokyo nonstop. I'm looking for an East Coast city uh, other than New York, other than Washington, um, to get to Tokyo nonstop. Uh, can anyone guess what it is? East Coast city, uh, one left. It's uh, just over 66, 6,700 miles. Um, let's see here. There it is. Desi got it. Boston. It's the place. That is the list. Guam, Honolulu, Seattle, Portland, Frisco, San Jose, Los Angeles, San Diego. Denver, Minnesota, Chicago, Detroit, Dallas, Houston, Boston, Newark, JFK, JFK, that's New York, Washington, and Atlanta. Those are the correct answers. Well done, you guys. Charlotte's another good guess. Atlanta, we already had. Okay, I've got uh, uh, another one here. Uh, this is um, a question for, um, uh, for those of you, uh, if you're in California, you probably have an advantage here, but then again, maybe you don't. Tell me the 10 longest nonstop flights you can take from LAX. What are the 10 longest flights you can take from Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, anywhere in the world? What would they be? There are 10 stops and uh, think far <laughs> uh, and see what you come up with. Uh, we're seeing the results come in here shortly. 
The longest flights from Los Angeles, LAX, would be what? Uh, Desi Wagner is guessing Tokyo, and uh, Tokyo does not make the list not long enough. How about that? Um, we're looking then at um, Australia. Well, I need cities, not countries. Uh, sorry about that if I misled you guys. I'm looking for cities uh, to go around the world, cities around the world from Los Angeles. Sorry about that. Um, London, Tommy Eaton is wondering about London. Uh, let's see if that city will even be long enough to make the list. It is not long enough to make the list. London to Los Angeles. We need longer flights than that. Tracy going with Dubai. And you are right. It's the second longest flight on the list. Dubai, I think it's 16 hours. Uh, the next one is New Zealand. That I need this, I need city names. Nina Frank has got Australia. Uh, I need city names. Thomas Henry, laugh out loud, Tommy. Can't get too many places from Richmond. <laughs> Jim Thomas, until you run out of fuel in the ocean. That's right. Paul Wilgus, Greece, Australia, New Zealand. we got all these countries coming, but I need city names. Nina Frank is thinking about Frankfurt. Not long enough. I need longer flights than Frankfurt to Los Angeles. Auckland, New Zealand from Desi Wagner. Auckland. Nope, didn't make the cut. Sydney. What about Sydney? Yes, the sixth longest flight is Sydney. Um, New Zealand to see Auntie Jane, right? Uh, Elizabeth Breen, Sydney. We just did it. Paul Wilgus, what about Athens in in Greece? Athens, not long enough to make the cut. Moscow, what about Moscow? Isn't that a long enough flight? Nope, not a top ten flight in distance. I'm not sure if you can fly to Moscow from LAX. Actually, Melbourne D and G Explorer is going from Melbourne. They are uh, guessing Melbourne. They're right. Fourth longest flight is Melbourne. Well done. Uh, Melody M, Hong Kong. What about Hong Kong? Uh, yep, eighth longest flight, Hong Kong. Uh, what about Melbourne, D&G? We got it again. Uh, what about Stockholm from Nina Frank? Uh, nope, Stockholm not far enough uh, to make the top 10 lengthiest flights out of LAX. Rome, Desi Wagner? Nope. Cairo? Nope, not long enough. Isn't that incredible? There are longer flights than that. Uh, Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is the fifth longest flight from Los Angeles. Exactly. Uh, Mumbai. N N Nina Frank is thinking about Mumbai. Uh, Mumbai don't have on the list. They may not Mumbai. Don't have it. Uh, Sydney. We've uh, got Sydney, don't we? Yes, we have Sydney. Beijing. Desi Wagner. Uh, Beijing in China. Nope. It's too close. Uh, Auckland, New Zealand, uh, not on this list. Um, what do we got here? Beijing again, Beijing again, and now Poland. Uh, Poland being a country won't help us. I'm looking for a city very near Dubai, by the way. Uh, actually, a couple of them. And I'm um, looking for um, a couple of cities in Asia and, uh, and another Australian city, to give you a big hint there. New Delhi in India, nope. Uh, Hong Kong, nope. Uh, not uh, not far enough in. Uh, Buenos Aires, no, nope. uh, too close. Buenos Aires is too close to make the top 10 in length. So we're talking about 14 hours, 13 hours, 15 hours. We're talking long flights. Abu Dhabi, yes, number one flight is Abu Dhabi. Thank you. Singapore, not long enough uh, or doesn't exist. Oman, Jordan, no. Um, uh, Morocco, no, doesn't exist either. Uh, but you're in the Middle East, so you know, you're going Manila, Philippines. Yes, correct. Seventh longest flight is Manila to the Philippines. Thomas Henry, uh, uh, Qatar. Uh, that would be Doha, perhaps. Uh, 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 my guess, not showing on the list. Um, Desi Wagner, Cairns, New Zealand, no. Tracy Dunlap, Riyadh, yes. Riyadh in, uh, in uh, wait, wait, sorry. I apologize. It's not Riyadh. There's a city in Saudi Arabia that qualifies, but it's not Riyadh. Um, uh, if anyone can guess it, let's see here. Cairns, Riyadh. Let's see if anyone guesses another city in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm looking for an Australian city that we haven't got already. Uh, Istanbul? Nope, uh, not on the list. And uh, one more city in China. It's the one we always never get right. <laughs> I don't know if any, I don't know anyone I know has ever been to this city, but it's a big place in China. Uh, they have direct flights there. One city in Saudi Arabia, one city in Australia, one city in China, and uh, 
uh, Bahrain or Bahrain. Nope, uh, not going to work there. <laughs> Excuse me, Mecca. Very uh, similar, close, uh, but not the right one. Um, starts with a J in Saudi Arabia. Starts with the letter J. Uh, Shanghai uh, for China. No, nope. um, we all know we all know of Shanghai. City in China starts with the letter G. Uh, anyone know that one? Um, uh, Michelle Lucas. Jetta, Jetta, yep, it is Jetta. You're, it's okay with the spelling, Michelle. You're all good. Melody got it. Tracy got it. We now got Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Jetta, Melbourne, Tel Aviv, Sydney, Manila, Hong Kong. I've got two left to go. A city in China starting with the letter G. A city in Australia starting with the letter B. Uh, Gu Guangdao and Jacksonville. <laughs> Uh, Jordan, Jacksonville, Guangdao, uh, Zhengzhou in China, G U A N G Z H O U. Zhengzhou, China, is the ninth longest flight out of Los Angeles. I, 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 you know, a lot of folks come there and come from there. Brisbane, Australia, is the Australian city I needed. That did it right there. We got the list completed with Zhengzhou and Brisbane filling it up. Well done, you guys. I got one more to go. Since we had so much fun with Los Angeles, the longest flights of L.A., why don't we do one for the longest flights out of Florida? Let's go all the way across the other side of the country. The longest 10 flights out of Miami. What are they? Where do they go? What cities from Miami can you fly to on the longest flights from Miami? Let me know what your thoughts are there. We'll see how we do with these guesses. Miami International Airport. Where can you fly to from Miami? And let's see how we're doing on. We got 18 thumbs ups, and that's a miracle compared, considering the quality of this photo, this broadcast quality, terrible. Uh, Desi Wagner, that's it. We shipped there for my job. <laughs> Desi Wagner, uh, Zhuangzhou. No, <laughs> you can't go to Zhuangzhou from Miami. No. <laughs> De, uh, De, Desi Wagner, wondering about Auckland, New Zealand. Can you get to Auckland, New Zealand from uh, Miami? No, you can't. It's too far. Too far. Um, let's see here. Uh, Beijing, Tommy Eaton, wondering about Beijing, uh, China. Nope, not Beijing. I'm going to give you a hint. Not one of the cities in Los Angeles works for Miami. Not one of them. So it's a whole new list, separate list of 10 cities. Uh, forget the LA list. It won't help you. Um, Moscow. Uh, yes, Moscow. There are two flights in, out of Miami to two separate Moscow airports. You just nailed two of them right there. Guam. Jim Thomas. No, cannot fly to Guam direct nonstop to Miami on a scheduled flight. Sydney, Australia. Nope. Singapore. Nope. Can't do it. Um, uh, UK. Well, uh, you know, give me city names and we'll see what we can do. Paul Wilgus. How about Athens? What about Athens? Uh, nope, not on the list. Uh, London, Elizabeth Breen, yes. Uh, London, uh, well, to be honest, London isn't on the list, but it just probably number 12, very close. Uh, Tracy also went with London. The thumbs up is not for you, Bruce. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not for you, Bruce. Not picture. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, Tommy Eaton, Manila. What about Manila? No, uh, Manila doesn't make the list because uh, you can't get there from there. Frankfurt, Tracy Dunlop, thinking about Frankfurt. Um, Frankfurt is not on the list from Miami. Uh, Buenos Aires, uh, no, not on the list from Miami either. What about uh, if you are stopping between LA and Honolulu, you are in trouble? Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, that's very true. Uh, you're wet. Uh, Desi Wagner, what about Paris? Is Paris on this list, Bruce? Come on. Nope, Paris is not on the list either. Uh, Juneau, Juneau, Alaska. Is that from Miami to Juneau? Can you do that? No, you can't do that. Anchorage to, Ala to a Miami? Miami, Anchorage. Juneau, Anchorage. No, no, no. Nothing, nothing like that. Um, Munich, Tracy Dunlop. Uh, tr thinking about Munich? No, nope. give me another German city, though. You're getting close. Uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. What about Sao Paulo? Nope, not from Miami direct. Uh, not long enough, or they don't fly it. Um, so far, we only have Moscow. Uh, very interesting. Um, think Europe, though. Uh, if you're heading to Europe, you're going to be okay. Tommy Eaton, while well, Seattle, diagonally across the United States, isn't that a long enough flight? 
it's a long flight, but uh, we're talking, I think, 10 hours at least, um, maybe nine hours uh, to, to make the list. So anything continental U.S. won't work for us. Uh, Cape Town, uh, that's a good guess too, but I think that might be a bit too far. Uh, let's see here, uh, Copenhagen. What about Copenhagen? Nope, not on the list. Amsterdam, Desi Wagner is wondering what Amsterdam. Uh, not showing Amsterdam here. Dusseldorf, yes, eighth longest flight, Dusseldorf. Someone said Frankfurt earlier. I said no, it is correct. I apologize. Um, who said Frankfurt? Uh, I owe that person an apology. Tracy, you had Frankfurt, and I said you were wrong. You're right. Well done. Um, Tracy Dunlop is going for the city of Rome. Yep, fourth longest. Absolutely. Istanbul. What about Istanbul? Not on the list. What about Tehran? No. Warsaw? No. What about Baghdad? Nope, not Baghdad. Stick to Europe. Just stick to Europe. You'll be fine. Barcelona, yes. Ninth longest flight is Barcelona. Uh, very well done, Melody. You got another one right there. <clears throat> so far, we have Moscow for two, Rome, Frankfurt, Dusseldorf, and Barcelona. We need one, two, three, four. Three are Europe. One is Mideast. Let's see what happens. Rio de Janeiro doesn't count. Morocco, not going to help us. I need European cities and one in the Mideast. Uh, Amsterdam, another good guess, but it's just a little close. Uh, there's a city uh, very close to Amsterdam that actually will work. If you know your geography, don't be Googling now. Dublin, Dublin too close. A little too close in. London, too close. Uh, Amsterdam, just too close. Amsterdam might be the 11th longest flight, maybe the 12th longest flight. Uh, Saudi Arabia. Well, uh, no, nothing in Saudi Arabia. That won't help us. But there is a city in the Mideast I'm looking for. Um, and it's not Dubai, but it's uh, close to Dubai, if that helps you. Damascus? Nope, not Damascus. Uh, I'm looking for three European cities. I'm looking for a city in Italy. I'm looking for a city in, city in Switzerland. And I'm looking for a city uh, in... Uh, where is the city? I'm not exactly sure. I'll, I'll get back to you in a minute. Uh, what do we got here? Um, uh, Nina Frank is going uh, uh, Brazil. Then we have Nice. Then we have Brussels. Nina, if you're trying to spell Brussels, you're right. But if you weren't, you're wrong. But it is Brussels. Uh, that's the uh, the city other than Amsterdam that made the list. Paris didn't make the list. Um, Monaco, Venice, Rome. Monaco, Venice, Rome. No, I need a city in Italy, though, other than Rome. And I need a city in Switzerland. Uh, give me a city in Switzerland, a city in uh, Italy, and a city in the Mideast very close to Dubai. Those are the three we have left to get. Um, let's see how we do coming in here with our selections. Uh, everybody knows Rome. Where else can you fly to Italy nonstop from Miami? Hmm. The, the city obviously surprises you folks. Uh, surprised me a little bit, but then again, I understand that. Well, it makes sense. Zurich, yes. Zurich, Switzerland is the Swiss city. I need one city in Rome, one city in the Mideast near Dubai. Bari, Sicily. Um, no, neither of those two. Sicily is the island, of course. Uh, that won't help us. Uh, but Bari is on the other side. Milan, there it is. Milan, Italy, the financial center and fashion center of Italy. A very uh, wealthy, well-to-do city in Italy. It's probably Italy's uh, number one or number two financially strongest city with Rome and Milan being right up there. Yeah, absolutely. My husband's from Malta, Elizabeth says. Uh, Nina Frank, Pisa, Venice from Melody. Uh, <laughs> I need one city. Uh, the city is very close to Dubai. It's close to Kuwait. Um, um, I think this city is in the United Arab Emirates. And uh, Qatar, Qatar uh, no, not Qatar. I think it's Etihad Airlines is based there, and you could fly nonstop from uh, uh, from uh, Miami to this city. Uh, you can't fly to Dubai nonstop, but you can fly here. It starts the letter D and ends in the letter A, uh, and Abu Dhabi is a really good guess. That's in the UAE. It's not in the UAE. It's Doha is the name of the city. Uh, Doha, which I believe is in uh, Qatar, if I recall. Uh, I could be wrong. So here's the list. 
Miami, the 10 longest flights. Doha, Moscow for two. Rome, Milan, Zurich, Frankfurt, Dusseldorf, Barcelona, and Brussels. There you go. A little bit of travel trivia today. Airport airline trivia all around the, across the board. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, didn't want to bore you guys too much with that. Um, but that kind of put you through your paces today. You did very well. Some of you got some multiple answers. Well done, you guys. Well, there you go. Not a bad, not a bad review. Um, so yes, the the news of the day is the tropical storm Alberto. We'll be watching that now for the next two or three days. Probably by Monday, I'll be doing another show uh, on its progress and its uh, the turmoil that it's causing with cruise lines. We'll keep an eye on that. There might be some airport delays. Don't know about shutdowns, but there might be delays. A couple of hours, perhaps. We'll have to see how that plays out. Uh, we'll see how it affects New Orleans. How will it affect Houston, Mobile? Um, uh, what about uh, Tallahassee, uh, Tampa? We'll see how the flights are affected with all the heavy rains. Um, there could be delays reverberating out of there across the continental U.S. Of course, we'll play that by ear and we'll you know we'll go day by day. But it's not a hurricane, thankfully. It's not going to become a hurricane, uh, but it is heading north slowly. Unfortunately, it's not going very fast. And it's dumping rain on its route. So that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, Elizabeth Green, oh, wow. I had hair clients from there that went to Embry-Riddle in Daytona. Awesome. Um, great trivia, Tracy saying. Jesse Wagner, love trivia as usual. Good day, Bruce and all. Randy is saying. Uh, Elizabeth Green, this really got me thinking. Uh, Nina, nothing beats the Seinfeld trivia. That's true. Uh, Thomas Henry, great trivia, Bruce. Jim Thomas, thanks, Bruce. Great show as usual. Have a good one. See you Monday. Thanks, you guys, for joining me today. Thanks for the thumbs ups today, despite the lousy quality of the telecast. I'm sorry about the internet uh, connection today. Much, nothing I could do about it. It was just terrible. But uh, we got 19 thumbs ups, and thank you for those. Uh, they go a ways towards the analytics of the channel. Have a great weekend in the meantime. Um, we'll uh, talk to you guys on Monday. Debbie, you take care. Uh, have a great weekend yourself. And thanks for ordering shirts, and thanks for all your support of my channel. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thanks for joining me today. Have a great day today, a great rest of your weekend. This is May the 26th, 2018. I'm on again day after tomorrow, Monday, 5 o'clock Eastern. I look forward to talking to you guys then. All right, take care, everybody, and bye for now. See you.